individual assistance, and we have public assistance, which we come in with FEMA. The public assistance is we help out with the public infrastructure like roads and water systems and electrical, and we help the Commonwealth help pay for that. And then individual assistance, we come in and help out with individual survivors with housing, how we're going to feed them, um, whether we can put a temporary roof on their house, you know, like, a, like blue tarps. Um, but it's not just FEMA. We brought in a whole team of other people. There's only like a little less than 300 FEMA personnel on the island. But we have like 1,300 federal, other federal agencies that are here, like the Department of Defense, which have a huge amount of people, and lots of other people that came in and helped out. Uh, we're well over a couple million dollars so far we spent. Uh, and, there's, and there's a lot more money in the pipeline. Uh, it all depends on how many people register for help, how much money is allocated for that. Uh, right, it's, it's like one, $2.4 million today, and it changes by the day, of course. Uh, but I don't have a prediction where it's going to, what the end result is going to be, and the total amount that we're going to spend for housing and you know, the tent program and other programs. That, that's the number that we'll figure out in the end. So we're not, we're not close to that yet. The damage they've done, it, they're doing assessments now. They've done initial assessments and then they're doing kind of long term of what the real damage is. And the Commonwealth is actually recovering those numbers. Um, we're helping them give the numbers to them, but we don't have the final number yet. We're, we're kind of right in the middle of, of helping people right now get housed, and so the numbers will come in a little bit later. And we'll be happy to report on that, it's just that they're not quite there yet. And another close partner of us is the Small Business Administration. Like farmers can also go to them, um, and all businesses and homeowners can go to the Small Business Administration for low interest loans for this disaster. Um, if a company, for example, loses business, um, not necessarily damage their business, but they lost, let's say it's a restaurant and they lost all their business, they can ask for recovery money for that. It's a, it's a loan, but it's, a, it's something that is very viable. And that if a person may have questions about that, contact the Small Business Administration. Because not everybody is qualified for uh, a grant through FEMA, um, there, may be, there may be some shortcomings. Uh, FEMA doesn't uh, duplicate insurance, for example. So if, if your home is insured and insurance is going to pay off, then that we necessarily won't be able to give you a grant money. But you may have some other additional damages that you may want to get a loan for. That's a perfect opportunity for Small Business Administration to be there, help you out. But you have to kind of go through the FEMA process first before you're eligible to get some low interest loans through Small Business Administration. We may be able to help them if they're underinsured, for example. There may be a, a gap that of some money that are not going to be covered. We may be able to help. That's why we're encouraging everybody to contact FEMA and get registered so we can have a conversation and kind of go through the whole process with them. We encourage everybody who registers with FEMA, it's kind of like a big insurance pro process. So when you come see us, or you can call us, or go online, uh, make sure you have all your, if you can get all your information about your home, you know, proof of ownership, if you don't have that, like for example, bring utility bills, water utility bills, that proves that you lived in the, lived in the home, and uh, that will be a great help so we can process everything faster. The owners of the property have to take care of the property. Mm -hmm. But uh, a renter may lose their all their household goods, mm -hmm. their bed, all their living room stuff, and they're eligible for um, FEMA grants to help them replace some of that material. That's why we encourage renters to contact us right away so we can help them out. And you do have to be a U.S. citizen to be eligible for those grants. Or somebody in your household is a U.S. citizen. Uh, how about green card? Or eligible, other eligible? I would just say if you have any questions, contact FEMA. Okay. And because you may be eligible, be eligible. Um, but like I said, if there's somebody in your house is a U.S. citizen, or something like that, contact us. Let us go through your process. Let's go see what you have and see if you're eligible. Um, because probably the end of January, the, the deadline's going to close, so they won't be able to get back in a little bit. And you think, well, I'm, I really don't want to apply. I would encourage you to apply. For example, a couple months from now, all of a sudden you start getting old issues coming into your home. And oh, man, if I just would have applied with FEMA, I could have maybe gotten some relief, some money for that. Um, so we'll apply now, and you can always go back later 
and ask for some help. You've got to prove you got to prove damages first, and if you're eligible for a grant. Um, but if you need the money later and you have damages later, you certainly can come back to us and go, hey, now I have damage, okay. but I already applied. Mm -hmm. Apply first. Let's get you in and get you signed up. Okay.